Yo, what's up guys, it's Brad, and today I want to expose Halloween for what it is, which is a pagan holiday. So if you have kids, uh, or you yourself are participating in a Halloween ceremony, don't do it. Realize that, you know, the world as we know it is not as it directly appears. There are certain things going on, one of them being a spiritual warfare, which, you know, you as a civilian, if you're watching this and you think that that's bullshit, it just means that you've been tricked, you know, the, the, the Satanists and the pagans and the higher ups in the Vatican, the people that design the calendar that you abide by, they are very fully aware of this thing called spiritual warfare. They're fully aware of hypnosis and influence and what these things mean. And what most people don't realize is that, for instance, there's 3 million Satanists active that we know about in the United States alone. And what they do, <clears throat> if you listen to an ex-Satanist like uh, John Ramirez, great Christian pastor now, I love his stuff. He was a high-ranking member in the Satanic Church. You know, Santeria and all that shit and whatever fucking bullshit they do. They worship this God. Now, the crazy thing is, is that many of our holidays in our calendar have been manipulated by these people. We've literally bought into the idea that watching horror movies and doing Halloween is some type of great idea. It's not for a number of different reasons. Uh, if you understand neuro-linguistic programming and, and the way that the mind works and hypnosis, human beings have varying levels of suggestibility, meaning that they'll accept new realities if you put them in an, unf uh, an unfamiliar, uncertain, confusing situation. Uh, the CIA had programs where they would do things to kids where they took this to very far extremes. For instance, if you have no money, you know, the end of 1984, if you have no money, you've been stripped of all your dignity and you've been brainwashed again and again and again, you'll repeat almost any lie. He says in the end of 1984, freedom is being able to say two plus two is four. Because in the end of 1984, when Big Brother gets full control, he says two plus two is five. It is not four. It's very similar to what we're seeing to this day. So if you have kids, um, don't let them do this uh, Halloween shit. You know, you should be homeschooling them, pulling them out of these ridiculous school systems, indoctrination camps. And the, the main reason that Halloween is so bad is because if you do a little research on what satanic rituals are, a big part of it, just even looking at a picture of Baphomet, the god Baal, Moloch. He's half beast, he's transgender, and he's just a, a, a bastardization of what a human being is. And if you read the Bible, you know that God, the reason he floods the earth is because you had fallen angels mating with human beings, you had human beings mating with beasts, you had all types of sexual perversions that were seen to this day. You had transgenderism, you had people taking on and adapting new identities as animals and weird shit and God's pissed because human being you were made in the image of God so God it's an insult to God that you would want to change who you are in 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 you know really any way you you are perfect and you are beloved child of God you're not uh, supposed to be adopting another identity now they know this and they do this to throw this in the face of God and that is why we've experienced such a fucking dramatic fall of de demoralization. So many times we've just towed the line and said, oh, well, I don't see what the big deal is. It's just a fun thing that the kids do. Well, that's, that's the lie, is that the kid now puts on a costume and begins identifying as this new character. And very often the, the characters are, are disturbing, weird, demonic creatures. You know when you watch a fucking horror movie that you're like, this is really dark. Like, personally, I don't watch horror movies because it opens up a gate in my mind to where now I have nightmares and I think about it and it's taking up space in my mind. It's, it's projecting through me. I'm amplifying that thought into my reality and it's fucking me up. So dressing up as some other weird uh, god or goddess or animal or stormtrooper or whatever the fuck you're now changing that identity and in a kid it, it influences them in a deeper way now they have that in their personality 
You know, human beings, like, we remember all this stuff in our central nervous system. You dress up as a character one day, you now have created the neural myelin sheath pathways in your brain to sort of act like that. You've created another little weird personality type. Really, all we should be doing is getting back in touch with who we really are, praying for God's will for us, and having that connection to Source and God. That's the only way. It's not to be praying or worshiping false idols and all that shit. It's just not. We all have a unique purpose in life, and the more we're tapped into that, the better our lives are going to be. So, you know, we, we have like a real failure of parenting here, real failure of balls. People just don't have balls, dude. If you don't agree with what your fucking kid is being taught, don't let him do it. Oh, you're going to let the kid tell you, oh, I'm going to go do this. You're like, well, no, you're not. <laughs> you're not doing that. And it's for your own good. And here's why. And here, you're going to learn why right now. You're going to sit down and you're going to hear me. And they're going to be like, I don't care, mommy, daddy. No, you're going to learn. You're going to learn. You're going to hear this. And I'm telling you this because I love you and care about you. And I won't be here one day. So you're going to learn. And you teach them. You show them. And, you know, you just can't allow them. You can't set themselves. You can't set them up for that. It's like parents who let their kids do drugs. Or they themselves do drugs in front of the kids. You're opening that portal up, man. Don't let your kids do drugs. They'll see, and you educate them. You show them, like, look, this is what happens when you do it. You open that portal. Alcoholism and drug abuse, man, it, 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 it's, it, it's a gateway, man. It, it really is. It's a gateway to hell. I'm telling you, I've been there. I, I still have issues with, you know, I drink too much and shit. I have my own fucking problems. I eat too much. I don't work hard enough. I don't study enough. I'm, you know, and I always wished like, you know, I just had that straight and narrow path and I do my best to just like create that for myself. Cause I never really, you know, I had to figure that out. The best way is clean, simple living. It is, it's working hard. It's studying, it's eating clean. It's having a clean home. It's surrounding yourself with good people. That is the, the way to live. Any other shit is like some weird shit that you're fucking up your kid with and you're fucking yourself. So, you know, you're going to regret it. I mean, you're going to, you're going to regret it. And all this stuff is in the Bible. It's all been written before. <clears throat> you know, it, it, God is pissed at shit like that. And that's why you feel pissed at yourself for that. Satanism convinces you that it's somehow, oh, no, it's okay. It's fine. It's not fine, dude. You got one life. You know, you have, you have one life in this body, in this, in this incarnation of yourself now. And, you know, God and yourself also wants to see you just do the best that you can while you're here. If not for you, then your children. And, and the worst people in the world, the people I really despise the most, are people that just don't care about their kids. One of the worst things I ever heard in my family was, you know, well, I'll, I'll be gone, so I don't care. You know, the whole point is to leave a better world for your family, dude. You know, my, my, when I, you know, it, you just think about your kid and you want your kid to have the best life possible. That's, that's a good, a good goal, you know? And uh, Halloween is one of those things that just don't do it. The, the candy in there is, is bullshit. Realize that Halloween itself is a day that falls on ritualistic sacrifice night of the satanic calendar. So while they're trick-or-treating, they're literally Satanists. Whether you believe this or not, it doesn't matter. It still is going on. That are meeting, sac I believe it's a blood and sex ritual night. So they're, they're doing ritual sacrifice of animals and humans on that night and doing bizarre sex acts. And they're conjuring up spirits and they're literally thinking and astrally projecting. They're getting in a pentacle. They're conjuring up dark spirits and they're wishing. They're trying to take over the universe. They're trying to take over areas with their weird principalities, they call it. They're conjuring these demons and they're wishing. You know, they're trying to seduce people into the glee of Satanism and just believing just you know, do whatever you want, and fuck God, God isn't real, and f Satan is the way to be. No, that's not the way to be. In the name of Jesus Christ, that is not the way to be. And 
we've been demoralized to not have that connection with God. Because when you have that, you know what's wrong and you get aggressive on it. You're like, fuck no. Like, not in my fucking house. So, <clears throat> you know, not in, in the name of Jesus Christ and all that is good in this world. Fuck no. And you'll, you'll tell the, the dumbass lesbian fucking liberal teacher and the principal and you'll smack a hoe, bro. Get the fuck out of here. You're teaching my kid that shit. You, you know, you're going to have tranny story time? Fuck no. So, that's it, man. I, I, I Yeah, that's right. I do get passionate and I do get fired up about kids, dude. It's not right. Remember what it was like when you were a kid and you were exposed to some weird shit? You know as a kid this is some weird shit. All right, you're going out, there's pumpkins carved with, like, demonic faces on. Everybody's dressed as a demon. What kind of fucking world is that? It's weird. Why are we doing that? That's okay, and we can listen to this dumb bitch, Cardi B. God forgive that woman, but, man, it's just, our, 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 everything is just fucking inverted. And you gotta protect your kids, man. It's not okay. It's not okay. You know, this is part of the agenda. They take the kid away from the father. They give it to the mother. The mother's got Stockholm Syndrome because she's weak and st she doesn't have to fight as hard in the world because she's a woman. She also has higher estrogen, fucking lower test. It's just like, and then they take the kids and they just give it over. The kid can get vaccinated. The kid can wear a mask. It's wrong. Okay, so uh, this shit, Hollywood, you know, if you're still letting your kid watch Disney movies at this point, you got an issue. Like, you really got an issue. If you're still letting them do this shit, like, you really have a problem. Because the info is there. There's no excuse for you to not be aware, you know, of that to a degree at least. You know, nobody's perfect. I'm not fucking perfect, obviously. But I'm just, I'm doing my best here, and I'm telling you, like, <clears throat> just don't let your kids do fucking Halloween, dude. You yourself shouldn't do Halloween. You're dressing up. If you'd go out on Halloween to, like, pick up chicks and shit, which is fine. Like, you know, I, I don't know. Just, like, fuck the costume shit. I don't know. Like, just wear some, like, I don't know. I, I wouldn't change myself. I wouldn't change myself for that or anything. Um, it's weird. You know, it's now that I know what I know and that it's part of this weird transhumanism agenda, you know, it's just like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not fucking, I'm not signing on with that, okay? I'm not. I mean, I'll go and I'll see music, I'll see rock concerts and rap, and I'll go along with that because I like that shit. I'll be honest with you, it's cool. It's it's not a good message, but, you know, uh, it's, it's still, I don't know. All I'm saying is, like, that shit's bad, and most people have no fucking idea what it really is and what it's doing to your own psyche. You know, you just think, oh, well, you know, it's no big deal. I'm not participating in that. Even if I skip, I'll probably just skip out on it. You know, I, I can get pussy whenever. You know, you guys that have to go out and go along with this shit because, you know, you want to get pussy or something, you want to look cool, you don't. You can get it another way. You can get it a more legit way. You can get it through cold approach during the day. You can get on online dating. You can go out to a fucking bar or a club. You know, it, that's, that's a, a more legit way than participating in something like that, all right? So... You know, just be aware, do your own fucking research, but I just want to bring that to light to you, uh, for you guys. Peace.